fishing there and no sub surface flies allowed so it's uh, top water flies only uh, with dry lines so very traditional Atlantic salmon fishing. Neither Paul or I have ever seen an Atlantic salmon or been in a place where Atlantic salmon exists. Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking straight. I was panicking. So last night we made it to uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, we have two more flights to two towns I've never heard of, but they sound French. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Phil's all right. laughs> you, maybe you guys are making them. Right? <laughs> you, you Montana boys. <laughs> What's going on? Then we fly to uh, Blanc Sablon. The plane. How do you pronounce it? Blanc Sablon. Okay. And the plane, yeah, I know what I'm French. The, um, so just the plane uh, lands in St. Anthony first. Yeah. And then we go from St. Anthony um, to uh, Blanc Sablon. And Adam will come and pick us up in the helicopter. I think Ralph is uh, coming in with us. Ralph Wheeler, he's a great guy. Ralph, a professor at university here. He's a scream. Love Ralph. <laughs> and, um, and we'll meet Chris Daly at Blanc Sablon. Then we'll go in uh, over the forest into the camp. It will be epic. Cool. You're gonna love it. There might be some, uh, might be some bugs there. I was just explaining. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, this kind of black fly can be. I was telling him my uh, yeah. sand fly, sand flea bites for healing, and yeah. he said, "Well, now there's black flies." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the, the they're catching salmon. Um, already, and what I was explaining, Paul, like the run just builds every day, and just chung, 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 chung. it can be off the charts, epic. The fishing at this time of year is pretty much concentrated around the falls because it's like a hydraulic barrier. There's so much water coming over it, you'll see they can't get over it. They get over it typically in a couple of weeks' time. They get over it in. Uh, that was my alarm, but wake me up. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> But you know, you can walk down in your bathrobe. That's how, that's how cool it is. <laughs> was there a lodge there before? No, nothing. This is, when you see this place, it's audacious. You'll just be, what the heck? Like, yeah, you know, I was saying to Paul there, it's say, uh, I've been around, but this is probably one of the best lodges in the world. So are you serious about, you can only fish topwater flies illegally? Yeah, yeah. The, the rules in uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, Floating line and unweighted flies. You know, primarily they're fishing with the bombers, the dry flies. Mm -hmm. Fishing them very close in. Keep your eye on the bomber through all the surf and all the. There's a lot going on there. You see the head come up. And you this just let them take it or you set? Set. 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 Yeah. If I can see like a size 20 trico, I should be able to see a size. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a huge advantage so, over me in that respect. Your, your eyesight is still going to be half decent. And that sounds crazy. You get a lot of fish, I'll tell you. You'll know all about it. You hit 15 pounders, which is quite common, 12, 15 pounders. You'll know all about it. They'll, they'll take you right out of the pool, clean out the pool. You might have to run a few hundred yards if it, uh, if it happens. I've gone, on, I've gone with big aspirations on a lot of trips. <laughs> 
Well, it only took me five trips to Belize to catch a permit, so hopefully this isn't the same for an Atlantic salmon. Making a wave to get bring the ice cubes closer to the shore so we'd have ice for dinner and drinks tonight. trying to play it cool with all the like the loop guys when we first got here but this place is unbelievable um me and paul both got our own rooms they're huge suites with fireplace and full king size beds um there's a whole maid service up here uh this is we each got all our own bathrooms with dual vanity sinks i guess that's necessary and atlantic salmon lodge you know, slippers, robes, everything that you need to catch an Atlantic salmon is here. So, pretty excited to be here. Um, can't wait to show you some more of the lodge. Um, right outside, you can see uh, one of the main runs called Blood Pool. It's kind of loud out here, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry about that, but it's right there. So, um, that's the falls, and right below it is the home pool. You can see Paul and Gordon are already down there fishing, so. We're excited to be here. Uh, can't wait to catch the first salmon. Ten casts in, no fish, so kind of slow. That's surprising. I thought we were at one of the best places in the world. Yeah. Oh! That one I could see. Right there, right? In fact, I think my wife has caught more salmon than I have. First Atlantic salmon of the trip. Don't screw this up, Paul.
nice. Holy crap, look at that. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to know that I'm red, Dude. <laughs> well, you might as well go to the sauna. <laughs> that fish ate it with such a slow take. I like I was ready for these like bee liners. This thing just goes like Oh, there was one. Oh, he missed it. He came? Yeah. Okay, he'll come again. He'll come again. What? Yeah. yeah. He'll come again. He'll the same spot. Right to the right of that bottom ripple. Yeah. Watch it, Chris. I'm Pretty close, I think. That was the end of day one of our day one and part one of our trip here to the Lewis River in Newfoundland. Um, we're so confused on where we are in the world right now that we actually had to ask the owner uh, for a map to show us exactly where we are um, because we took four or five plane rides today or in the last two days and then we also um, took about an hour helicopter ride to get here and then this huge lodge is in the middle of nowhere so but me and Paul were both successful today as you saw that was awesome that was our first Atlantic salmon experience uh, we both landed a uh, really nice Atlantic salmon 10 to 12 pound fish um, over 70 centimeters um, t tonight which was really awesome um, we caught them on dry lines skated flies bomber flies um, but yeah it was an awesome experience we have at least three or four more parts to this series um, of vlogs that we're going to shoot while we're here uh, on the lewis river so stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you for watching like and subscribe to our channel um, if you liked it we're going to be doing um, a lot more of these from in all types of fishing um, whether it's regular fishing, fly fishing, bass fishing, trout fishing, or Atlantic salmon fishing.